Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in East Tennessee, and I wanted to share a surprise with this water culture fowl. I just did a video on it yesterday, and you know me, I really like details, and I like sharing with you all when something unusual happens, and I have to show you this because this is quite unique. Okay, do you see how this root is going down into the water today? Yesterday, it was barely, barely touching it. I didn't move it. The stem looks the same, but look at how much that root grew in just one day. Orchids just never cease to surprise me. So let me give you a timetable on this one. Today is Friday. Three days ago, on Tuesday, I cut back the old roots that had turned mushy. Um, they had been in water culture for about four months, and they were the ones that had kind of turned brown. They were still viable to an extent, so I did leave them on the plant just for added hydration. But finally, Tuesday, I decided they've turned mushy. They weren't even mushy really towards the ends of the, the tips of the roots like they normally are. They were mushy up towards the top of the root. So I was like, okay, these aren't working. So I went ahead and I cut those off. I cleaned the stem as much as I could because I had taken this plant out of its vase. So I wanted to go ahead and clean everything that I could on the plant. And so I decided to put the tip of this stem in water culture two days ago along with that root. It was just barely touching the water. Look at this. I'm just not believing it. That's a lot of growth for one day. And I also had an epiphany. Sometimes early in the morning, I will get these ideas um, for things that I've been thinking about. A lot of times I'll think about things and then when I take a break and come back to it, it's a lot more clear. So I thought, you know these handy dandy pipettes that I've been using to draw my cow mag and my seaweed extract out of their containers. I thought, why can't I take a pipette and go over these roots like this to get them to grow faster? I was sitting here yesterday thinking I would really like for these roots to get just a drink of the fertilizer because they're going to grow faster. So look, now this is this plant's very own pipette. I'm not going to use it on another plant. I don't think that would be a good idea. But look at this. Now that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that idea. We're going to see. I'm going to do several videos on this one and show you the root growth in this because this is exciting me. And of course, I'm still keeping these roots in fertilizer water, as well as this long, long root. I love watching this root just grow. It's the coolest thing. Look at all the branches on this. About four months ago, this root was about this long. Look at all this growth. And I got a little branch here too that I'm putting down in fertilizer water. This has been fun. This has been a really cool experiment. And check out these spikes. It seems to me like they grew about a centimeter since yesterday. So this plant is really doing well. I'm glad I just made up my mind I was going to go ahead and do the water culture on this one. I have saved fowls in the past with water culture, but I truly believe that this plant does best in water culture. And several of you have asked me about little buddy. He's back here with me in the sunroom. He's waiting to get his treat. He is 10 years feisty right now. Oh my goodness. He's awesome. Well, that was a quick cameo of little buddy. He saw a squirrel and off he ran. So back to my orchid. I'm going to do several follow-up videos on this orchid so that you all can watch with me. Um, these are just amazing when they start doing really well in water culture. They're a lot of fun to watch. And if you didn't see my video 
from yesterday on how I'm fertilizing this one and another one I have in water culture. I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. Thanks to everyone for watching. Thank you for your kind words and comments. I appreciate you all more than you know, and I'd love to say the blessing over you all today. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Y'all make it a great day. We'll see you next time.